Hello and welcome to this video. A special welcome to those who are new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. I don't even know if there is a bell icon anymore. But in case if there is a bell icon, do press the bell icon so that you get notified about the upcoming videos on the channel. So without further ado, further ado, let's get started. This is the 32nd set of problems on complex numbers. That is problem number 311 to 320. So let's hit this in full screen. So as I always say that I will repeat once again that when I'm reading the problem, please pause the video. Try to solve the problem yourself. Only if you cannot solve the problem yourself, then look at the solution. So question 301 says that if AX plus C, CY plus BZ is equal to capital X, CX plus BY plus AZ is equal to Y, BC plus AY plus CZ is equal to capital Z, show that A square plus B square plus C square minus AB minus BC minus CA into X square plus Y square plus Z square minus XY minus YZ minus ZX is equal to capital X square plus capital Y square plus capital Z square minus capital XY minus capital YZ minus capital ZX. The second part says that a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc into x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to capital x cube plus capital y cube plus capital z cube minus 3 capital xyz. So we have already proven that a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca is equal to a plus b omega plus c omega square into a plus b omega square plus c omega previously. Similarly, x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx is equal to x plus y omega plus z omega square plus into x plus y omega square plus z omega. Now this have we have written in alternate form and multiplied them. So we get ax plus cy cube omega cube plus bz omega cube plus cx omega square plus by omega square plus z omega square plus bx omega plus ay omega plus cz omega square. And this the other two terms here become ax plus cy omega cube plus bz omega cube plus cx omega plus by omega 4 plus az omega plus bz omega square plus ay omega square plus cz omega square. So you can clearly see that the left hand side becomes ax plus B cy plus bz and uh, this into this there should be a plus here this should be plus cx plus by plus az omega square okay cx by and az this should have been az no 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 cx by az omega square that's right there should be a plus here and bx plus ay plus cz omega because omega 4 is omega and here it becomes ax plus cy plus bz there should be another plus here cx plus by plus az omega plus bx plus ay plus cz omega square which is equal to x plus y omega square plus z omega into x plus y omega plus z omega cube which is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus yz minus zx minus xy. So this is the first part we have proven. For the second part we just introduced two new factors to left hand side and right hand side that is a plus b plus c and x plus y plus z and then you just simplify to obtain the result. Question 302 says that prove that cos theta plus i sin theta by sin theta plus i cos theta to the power 4 is equal to cos 8 theta plus i sin 8 theta. So we can write the denominator sin theta plus i cos theta as i into cos theta minus i sin theta. Now we know that i to the power 4 is 1. So the numerator is e to the power i theta and denominator is e to the power minus i theta. So it becomes after uh, getting rid of the power e to the power i4 theta by e to the power minus i4 theta which is equal to e to the power i8 theta which is equal to cos theta plus i sin 8 theta which we had to prove. Question 303 says that if z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0 show that z square plus z to the power minus 2 is equal to 2 cos 2 theta. So we are given the equation z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So if you find the roots, roots would be z is equal to cos theta plus minus i sin theta. So z square plus z to the power minus 2 would be cos 2 theta plus minus i sin 2 theta 
plus cos 2 theta minus plus i sin 2 theta. You add these, the i sin 2 theta will get cancelled and the result will be 2 cos 2 theta which is the required result on right hand side. Question 304 says that prove that 1 plus i to the power n plus 1 minus i to the power n is equal to 2 to the power n by 2 plus 1 cos n pi by 4. We can write 1 plus i in polar form as root square root of 2 into cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 and 1 minus i as square root of 2 cos pi by 4 minus i sin pi by 4. Now we raise them to the power n. Like previous problem, the imaginary part will get cancelled. It will become square root 2 to the power n into 2 cos n pi by 4 which is equal to 2 to the power n by 2 plus 1 into cos n pi by 4 which is the required result on right hand side. Question 305 says that show that the value of sigma k is equal to 1 to 6 sin 2 pi k by 7 minus i cos 2 pi k by 7 is i. So we take out the i outside this minus i outside this and the inside we are left with cos 2 pi k by 7 plus i sin 2 pi k by 7 which is equal to e to the power i 2 pi k by 7. So now we apply the geometric series with the first term e to the power i 2 pi by 7 and uh, common ratio e to the power i 2 pi by 7. So it becomes minus i into 1 minus e to the power 2 pi by 1 minus e to the power minus i 2 pi by 7. So th this e to the power i e this e to the power 2 pi is equal to 1. So this whole term becomes 0. So we get the value after simplification as i. Question 306 says that show that e to the power 2mi cot inverse p pi plus 1 by pi minus 1 to the power m is equal to 1. So we let cot inverse p is equal to theta. So cot theta is equal to p. So left hand side becomes 2mi theta into i cot theta plus 1 by i cot theta minus 1 to the power m. So we change this uh, cot theta into cos theta by sin theta. And we take out i as well. So i gets cancelled. The numerator is cot theta minus i and denominator is cot theta plus i. So if we change it to cos theta by i cos theta by sin theta, it becomes cos theta minus i sin theta by cos theta plus i sin theta. So this is equal to e to the power minus i pi by e to the power e to the power minus i theta by e to the power i theta. We take it out of the power and it becomes e to the power 2 m i theta into e to the power minus 2 m i theta that is e is equal to 0 which is 1 that is what is required on right hand side. Question 307 says that prove that 1 plus sin 5 plus i cos 5 by 1 plus sin 5 minus i cos 5 to the power n is equal to cos n pi by 2 minus n phi plus i sin n phi by 2 minus n phi and this should also be pi by 2 but let's see. Uh, okay, that would be n pi by 2. There, there are typing mistakes. So we take 1 plus sin phi plus i cos phi as r cos theta plus i sin theta and 1 plus sin phi is equal to r cos theta cos phi is equal to r sin theta. So we raise to the power n it becomes r to the power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Now we take conjugate we get 1 plus sin phi minus i cos phi to the power n is equal to r to the power n cos n theta minus i sin n theta. So if we take the ratio it becomes e to the power i n theta by e to the power minus i n theta is equal to e to the power 2 i n theta is equal to cos 2 n theta plus sin 2 n theta. Now tan theta is equal to cos phi by 1 plus sin phi that is equal to cos square phi by 2 minus sin square phi by 2 divided by cos phi by 2 plus sin phi by 2 whole square which is equal to cos phi by 2 minus sin phi by 2 divided by cos phi by 2 plus sin phi by 2 which is equal to 1 minus tan phi by 2 divided by 1 plus tan phi by 2 which is equal to pi by 4 minus phi by 2. So theta is equal to phi, pi by 4 minus theta uh, minus phi by 2. So 2 and theta would be n pi by 2 minus n phi and that's how we have proven it. So yeah this phi would be pi and this phi would be pi and this pi is fine. Question 308 says that if sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma is equal to cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma is equal to 0, show that cos 3 alpha plus cos 3 beta plus cos 3 gamma is equal to 3 cos alpha plus beta plus gamma and sin 3 alpha plus sin 3 beta plus sin 3 gamma is equal to 3 sin alpha plus beta plus gamma. 
सो वी लेट ए इज इक्वल टू कॉस अल्फा प्लस आई साइन बीटा बी इज इक्वल टू कॉस बीटा प्लस आई साइन बीटा एंड सी इज इक्वल टू कॉस गामा प्लस आई साइन गामा सो ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू कॉस अल्फा प्लस कॉस बीटा प्लस कॉस गामा प्लस आई साइन अल्फा साइन बीटा साइन गामा सो बोथ द सम्स आर गिवेन एज जीरो सो इट बिकम्स जीरो ना ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस सी क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इंटू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी इंटू बी सी इंटू माइनस बी सी माइनस सी ए ना ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इज जीरो सो दिस इंटायर थिंग बिकम्स जीरो दैट्स वाई ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस सी क्यूब इज इक्वल टू थ्री ए बी सी दैट इज वाई वी क्वेट द रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट वी गेट कॉस थ्री अल्फा प्लस कॉस थ्री बीटा प्लस कॉस थ्री गामा इज इक्वल टू थ्री कॉस अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस गामा and sin 3 alpha sin 3 beta sin 3 gamma addition of those is equal to 3 sin alpha plus beta plus gamma question 309 says that if sin alpha sin beta plus sin gamma is equal to cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma is equal to 0 show that cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma is equal to sin 2 alpha plus sin 2 beta plus sin 2 gamma is equal to 0 so like previous problem we have determined that 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma minus i sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma is equal to 0 now we know that a square plus b square plus c square is equal to a plus b plus c whole square minus 2ab plus bc plus ca now this is equal to a plus b plus c whole square minus 2abc into 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c so now we can say that Zero square is equal minus two ABC into zero is equal to zero. So left hand side is equal to cos two alpha plus cos two beta plus cos two gamma plus I sine two alpha plus sine two beta plus sine two gamma is equal to zero. So we equate the real and imaginary parts. We get the desired result. Now this we have followed from the previous uh, result because A plus B plus C was proven to be zero in the previous case. Question three hundred. Then say that if alpha beta are roots of the equation t square minus 2t plus 2 is equal to zero, show that a value of x satisfying x plus alpha to the power n minus x plus beta to the power n divided by alpha minus beta is equal to sine theta by sine to the power n theta is cot x is equal to cot theta minus one. So we have t square minus 2t plus 2 is equal to zero implies that roots are one plus minus i. Now we let alpha is equal to one plus i and beta is equal to one minus i. So x plus alpha is x plus one plus i, and x plus beta is x plus one minus i, and alpha minus beta is two i. Now we let x plus one is equal to r cos phi, and one is equal to r sin phi. So x plus alpha to the power n minus x plus beta to the power n divided by alpha minus beta is equal to sin theta by sin n theta. We substitute this value, we get r to the power n cos n phi plus i sin n phi minus r to the power n cos n phi minus i sin n phi by two i is equal to the right hand side. Now the left hand side, what will happen is the cos phi will get cancelled and sin i phi will get added and i will get cancelled. So we will have r to the power n sin n phi is equal to sin theta by sin to the power n theta. So from this we can say that sin n phi by sin to the power n phi is equal to sin theta by sin to the power n theta. How we have arrived that this result is because sin phi r sin phi is one, so r to the power n is equal to one by sin to the power n phi. So from this we can say that one of the values of phi is theta. So dividing these two uh, equations we get cot phi. Okay, x plus one is equal to cot phi. So x is equal to sorry cot theta. X is equal to cot theta minus one. With this we come to the end of thirty second set of problems on complex number, and in the next uh, video we will solve the thirty third set of problems. So I have to think that uh, you would find this video useful and informative. If so, please like the video, uh, make use of the comment box to voice your opinion that what are the topics you would like the videos on, possibly physics and chemistry, which I plan to do after finishing maths. So the order would be algebra, trigonometry, then coordinate geometry, then calculus, followed by probability and possibly set theory and vector algebra. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.